enjoying our videos uh, in today's uh, demonstration we are going to look at the pages journal we are going to look at the first lesson on the pages journal so we explain what a pages journal is then after that we we'll look at how to record in a one column pages journal um, a pages journal is also referred to as a pages table because uh, normally pages are done on a daily basis uh, that's why it is called a pages day book now it only records credit purchases this is very important cash purchases are not entered in this book because uh, they are cash so they are entered in the cash book and what we see in a purchase journal is a list of uh, suppliers credit suppliers those businesses and individuals who have supplied the business with uh, goods on credit and um, usually if the business buys goods they are issued with a, an invoice so they receive an invoice from whichever business they are buying from right um, the pages journal may have one column or it may have two columns depending on the nature of transactions for that business whether it is buying from businesses that offer trade discounts or not so the issue of trade discounts here is the one that determines the nature of the journal that you are going to use so in today's demonstration we are going to look at a business which is buying from suppliers which do not offer trade discounts so in that business they prepare a one column uh, purchase journal so we are going to look at this illustration for double boo which is a clothing shop on uh, in january 2018 they bought the following items uh, on five bought striped shirts for 1300 from s and p clothing and they were issued with this invoice they received this invoice from from s and p clothing so we go straight to our journal on the fifth right this is our purchase journal for the month of january january 5 so we indicate that this is s and p okay the invoice number here is sp 101 and the amount involved is 1300 right this is done we move on to the next transaction 19 bought t-shirts from max trading for cash look at this now this is cash we don't record in a purchase journal a cash transaction no so we skip a cash transaction it's not recorded we skip it we go to the next uh, 27 received an invoice so if a business is receiving an invoice it means it has purchased goods on credit so this is the invoice n71 from ella trading for nightwear garments with 700 so this is happening on 27th ella trading and n71 how much is that 700 right let's move on to the next transaction the chest uh, from van hook black suits with 600 invoice number this one again this is a credit transaction which is happening on the last date of the month uh, van hook right 
uh, the invoice there is 0023 and the amount is 600 okay now I want you to observe this this column the invoices are different because the suppliers are also different it's different in the sales journal where you have the invoices from the same business but in this case it's expected to have invoices coded differently because they are coming from the various businesses right so that's important then at, at the end of the month you need to totalize your journal and this is happening on 31 January Right, so this total, we are going to transfer it to the purchases account. Okay, we are transferring it to the purchases account. This purchases account is found in the nominal uh, ledger. Right, right. So the pages account is found in the nominal ledger. Even if you end here, it's still fine. Uh, it's it's still fine because uh, you would have indicated that this amount is going to the pages account, which is found in the nominal ledger. Right, you totalize here. Your total, if you add correctly, should give you 2600. So 2600 becomes the total here under amounts. Fine. So this is the amount that is going to the purchase account. We'll see how it is recorded in the purchase account next. And this is our purchase account. We come to the debit side of the purchase account on the last date for January. So January ends at 31. You show that this is the total purchases for January. Mm -hmm. And you indicate the amount here. So we are just entering the total of 2600. That's the amount we are entering here. Once you have done this, you are done. So that's how you can prepare a pages, a pages journal with one column and posting to the pages account, right? So I hope this uh, demonstration helped you to do the uh, pages journal. Why uh, look out for our other videos that we have done on the sales journal.